Hello everybody. Welcome to another video from Currency Collector Searcher. My name is Victor and I always appreciate you tuning in to my videos and leaving all those wonderful comments. That's what keeps me doing this uh, every week. So thank you in advance. Um, today, I wanna show you how you can find or what is available to find when you search these bank straps of $1 bills. I got a few of these this week. Uh, these are just from the local bank. And um, I wanted to show you, uh, kind of educate you in terms of what you can find out there and what these can fetch on the secondary market in terms of uh, selling prices. Um, so of course it does uh, matter the condition of the note, you know, so I'm gonna try to find some that are similar to the condition of the ones that I have. I have a couple, couple doozies today. Um, so these are out there, you have to get out there and search, otherwise you won't be able to find them. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, check your wallet, purse, uh, maybe even go to your local bank and get some of these for yourself. So before I uh, show you my finds, what I wanted to do is show you when I search, this is a nice list of the, uh, of the notes or the fancy serial numbers on the bottom part there. This is a nice list of the fancy serial numbers that are available uh, for you to search for. So if you want to go ahead and take a snapshot of this and print this out yourself, uh, you'll be able to use this when you search for your dollar bills, okay? Uh, and then on the top part is just my, my, my repeatable process for searching bills, so, all right. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, so as you see uh, here uh, uh, in the uh, uh, thumbnail that I'm gonna have on the video, uh, searchers like myself are finding valuable fancy serial numbers that are worth quite a bit of cash. So let's take a look at these finds, and you'll see this one right here is gonna be the uh, the second one. That's a, a, a uh, I'm sorry, uh, insufficient ink error, sorry. All right, so this first one here, so this is a, a real nice star note here. So when I went onto Google and I typed in look up star note, uh, on this page, you can't see it, but above here you put in $1, you put in the year, which for this one is 2017A, and then you put the serial number right here the one ending in 9808, followed by the star. When you click on look up star note, it'll tell you the print run, whether you have a kind of a, a low print run or a large print run. Well, this one, if you look at the bottom, this arrow right there, that arrow is in the middle. So the further over to the right it goes, the more rare the note is and the higher value it'll command in the secondary market. So when you take a look at this one, uh, it's kind of in the middle there. So this is a run of only 250,000, that's, that's pretty low, okay? So when I go to eBay to see what these are selling for, these two sold for $26, these two 36, and these two 27. So I could get, you know, 13 to $15 for this $1 bill in the secondary market. So that's, you know, a good 1300% return on a $1 bill, okay? All right, this next one, this, is the one that I was telling you about, or that I showed in the thumbnail. Uh, this is called an insufficient ink error. You can see that digit right there is missing. Okay, some people call it a, a missing digit error. Um, it's, technically, it's called a uh, insufficient ink error. Uh, so if you take a look at this one here, this has the same error, has that missing digit right there, insufficient ink. And this one had 22 bids and sold for $64. $64, so my note is not quite in as good of condition as that one, so I'm thinking I could probably get a good $40 to $50 for this bill to the right person. Um, so uh, those are pretty easy to see. They're not, uh, you don't have to look for numbers or anything. When you, when, you, when you pick it up and look at it, it's glaring right in your face. All right, so let's take a look at the next one here. All right, so these next two were back to back. Uh, these are called tombstones. We have 1900 and 2018 and then 1900 to 2021. And these are super crisp. And it looks like these were just printed yesterday. Um, so uh, tombstones are, uh, you know, a lot of people like to get these for birth years of children or parents, grandparents, uh, maybe a business opening, you know, some, some sort of a special date, special year. Um, so this one here, uh, 1967, uh, this is a reverse tombstone, but 1967, 1927. This one sold for $6.80. It was a buy it now with free shipping. 
So, you know, you can probably get, you know, four or five, six dollars for each one of these. You know, so it, it's, it's more than face value and all that money adds up, okay? All right, so this next one, or these next uh, few here, uh, these are quad alternator. This is a quad alternator uh, with bookends. So you see the serial number has 82 uh, on the ends, okay? That's, that's the bookend. And then it's uh, alternator is alternating eight. So you have eight, two, eight, nine, eight, six, eight, two. And of course the quads are the eights, there's four eights, okay? Uh, so take a look at this one right here, uh, very similar. Uh, it's quad, uh, it's alternating nines. And this one sold for $9.99 with one bid. And I have some other ones here. Uh, these are not bookends. These are just quad alternators, alternating ones, one zero, one six, one five, one seven. Uh, then we have the next one here, uh, six three nine three seven three one three. We have you know alternating threes, and then we have uh, alternating nines, four nine five nine eight nine two nine. Okay, so some nice finds there. So you know maybe get uh, seven, eight, nine, even ten dollars for each one of those. All right, the next one we have. Uh, these are uh, uh, quad pair double uh, notes, and these are uh, bookends. Now, this one is a little bit of a miscut, if you see on the top, okay? Uh, somewhat of a miscut there on the top. Uh, nice and clean compared to the one below it. Nice, brand new and fresh. But this is a quad, uh, bookend 1.5s, okay? Bookend 15s with uh, three, 36 and 36 in the middle. Uh, so this is quad pair doubles. The, the pairs are ones, threes, fives, and sixes. Okay. Um, so and this one here, uh, this one has uh, bookends five one eight with a pair of nines in the middle. So this is also uh, quad pairs. The pairs are ones, fives, eights, um, and nines. Um, so uh, as you can see here, um, you know this one sold for. They were asking fourteen ninety nine. Um, and best offer, you know, may have been, uh, you know, $10, $11, $12. Um, so, um, you know, these do sell uh, pretty regularly uh, in the secondary market, okay? So keep your eyes out for those. Now, these are bills that people would get in change or at the bank, and you would have no idea that they're worth more than a dollar. And that's why I want to show this to you, okay? All right, so the next one here, uh, these are just quads. This is a, a solid quad zeros. Okay, the ones where they're solid, where they're right in a row like that, they're worth a little bit more than something like this, where they're not in a row. This is just four eights, but they're spread out. Or this one here is four sixes. That was almost a binary. If that one would have been a zero, that would have been a very nice uh, binary find. Binary is just two digits in, in the serial number. And like, and uh, this one here as well, uh, This these were back to back. This one was... Um, let me straighten these out here. Uh, six zero zero and then six uh, uh, one six one. They were uh, very close together. Uh, but uh, quad zeros. This one sold for six fifty. Okay, uh, with a, uh, with four zeros in there. Uh, and the other ones would probably sell for you know four or five dollars each, or you know two for ten, something like that. All right. So now let's take a look at these. I got a handful of these. These are miscut notes. If you take a look at this one here, you know, this one's miscut on the uh, on the right-hand side there. It sold for $13. Um, so take a look at these. This one is highly miscut on the bottom. Look at that. Especially on the left-hand side there. I mean, look at that. That's hardly even there. Okay. And then this one is a miscut on the left and the top. This one is also miscut on the left and the top, pretty substantial. This one is a miscut on the left and the top as well, more on the top than the left. This one is also miscut on the top. And look at on the back there as well, okay? And then the last one here, this is a quite a substantial miscut. I mean, that's almost not even there on the top, all right? So these go for a pretty penny or you know a few dollars as well. You see on the screen there, uh, this one went for $13. Uh, it was not, was not a best offer. There's not a line through it. So this sold for $13. Uh, so um, these, are, these are there for the taking. Just, uh, you know, just search for them, okay? All right, so the next one, uh, this one is a trinary, which means it only has three numbers in, in the serial number, sevens, eights, and nines. And this one's a five of a kind. 
so, uh, and it's in pretty good condition. There's a fold down the middle, but it's pretty crisp. And this one here, uh, this is a uh, $1 bill, five of a kind, eights. It's a trinary, two fives and eights. And this one sold for best offer, probably, you know, 10, 11, 12, $13. All right, so just more money in your pocket. And all these bills, you know, they sell for a lot more than face value. So if you're not searching for these, you're really missing out. Okay, I'm just trying to encourage you to get out there and, uh, you know, uh, look at your dollar bills, look at your change, because there are some serious fines out there. These are just kind of the low end fines. All right, well, in, in other videos, I'll show you some higher end fines as well. Okay, now the next ones, uh, these are, uh, these are what are called birthday notes or anniversary notes. So this one here, this is June 2nd, 1969. Okay, um, and then this one is... Uh, July 2nd of 1937. Now, here in the U.S., we are taught the birthday start with the month, the day, and the year. But remember, uh, people on eBay are from all around the world. So some countries uh, and some, uh, you know, some people are taught for birthdays uh, birth or anniversaries to be with the year first. Um, so um, that's why you certainly want to keep your eyes open to these as well. So this is July 2nd, 1937. Um, and I also have some that are not quite uh, in that form. So this one could be May 5th, 1921 with bookends, you know, five fives on the end. Uh, this one, and I've sold some of these before. This could be uh, uh, October 19th, 1957. Okay. Uh, this one here could be uh, April 5th, 1992. It's not an exact birthday anniversary note, but you know, if someone has this birthday and they're searching, you know, they'll more than likely pay $10, $12 for that. And then this one here, uh, uh, this would be uh, February 10th, 1939. So you get the idea. Um, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. So technically, those are not birthday anniversary notes, but they still do sell. There's st there is a market for those. Okay. Now check this one out. Uh, this uh, this one here is a uh, I'm sorry. This is a um, wet ink transfer. So if you take a look right here the zero from the back of the note, that bled through to the front. And then also over here, the E bled through to the front, okay? Uh, and so on some of these, you'll see the ink will be uh, on the face as well, uh, not, not on this one. But uh, this one here, this one sold for $6, a wet ink transfer. This one sold for $8. And you can see it's the same thing, not even as dark as this one. This one is actually darker uh, than the one on the screen there. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, and especially a, a lot more uh, bled through than, than this one that sold for $6. So, you know, $6 and $8. So, you know, a lot more than $1 uh, face value. All right. And then the, the last one we have here, uh, the last one we have here, these are, um, uh, uh, these are called ladders. So this is a ladder run of five. This is five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This one is a ladder 6543, a descending ladder. And this one is a, uh, a leading descending ladder, 8765. Now you might think that these are just $1 bills, but check this out. This one here, 6543, this is a descending ladder sold for best offer of a little less than 10, probably seven, eight, nine dollars And this one here, a descending ladder of 9876 sold also for a best offer a little bit less than ten dollars maybe seven or eight dollars so as you can see there is a lot of fines here for you to find there is a lot of money out there to be made when you search for one dollar bills okay so um uh keep your eyes open for for more videos uh showing you what you can find out there um and uh, there's a lot more than what i showed you here today as you can see by that sheet of paper i saw in the beginning so um, if you will, uh, please go ahead and like and share and subscribe to my, uh, to my, uh, uh, to my YouTube channel so you can learn uh, continuously how to make easy money searching through $1 bills just like, uh, just like I showed you here. Have a good day. We'll see you in the next one. Keep on keeping on.